In this episode, we take the EcoBoost Mustang on the Great American Road Trip, starting Route 66. Welcome to the channel. My name is Great Tommy. This is Straight Six Fan, where I like to focus on budget minded, relatable, creative builds, a little something I like to call offbeat hot rodding. And we're taking a break from the offbeat hot rodding today as we are on a good old fashioned American road trip. We are on Route 66, actually, Interstate 44 at the moment, uh, heading west to Oklahoma City. Uh, but before we got here today, I did take a moment this past week to do one little mod, one little upgrade to the EcoBoost Mustang before we set out on this adventure. So let's rewind to earlier this week. Okay, so it is Wednesday night before Tube 66, and that means it is prep time for the EcoBoost, and as you saw in Sunday's upload, um, which actually hasn't even come out yet, <laughs> because this is Wednesday night before the trip, um, I installed the UPR catch can on the EcoBoost, but it's time to do something else under the hood to hopefully, again, if you remember, we're calling this Project 13's going on 30's, where we try to run a 13. I'm going to do this in a later episode, but um, I'm going to change the goals a little bit. Uh, but to run a 13 four quarter mile, and I'll explain that in a later episode, and while also getting 30 miles to the gallon. So to date, our best has been 29 point, I think it was 29.6. So we're going to see if we can eclipse that on this trip since there will be plenty of highway miles. And so to do that, I have ordered an AEM dry flow drop-in air filter. The consensus on these EcoBoost will actually, the EcoBoost, anything in the S550 generation of Mustangs, um, the consensus seems to be don't waste your money on a cold air intake, do a drop-in air filter and find a smoothed out inlet tube like an air raid uh, product. So, um, so we are hoping, I'm hoping that maybe this will help us uh, catch a 30 mile to the gallon. Uh, once or twice on this trip. So let's get that installed. Okay, so it's as easy as that. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to do it now here ahead of the trip, um, I did think about just, you know, kind of doing it during the trip, like in the hotel parking lot, not that that's a really roadkill kind of thing because it's dropping an air filter in, but I don't know, I thought that might be kind of fun, mod the car on the trip, but anyway, you know, with these new computers, they like to data log. Whenever you make a change, they like to try to learn, okay, something changed, what is it, you know, it likes to learn for a bit, so I kind of figured, give it a couple days, let the computer understand, maybe, that it's breathing more air and uh, maybe we'll reap the benefits then um, starting when the trip starts on Friday. So we have our first stop on the Great American Road Trip on Route 66 and that is Pops in Arcadia, Oklahoma. And we'll show you some more when we get inside, but uh, this is a structure. You can kind of see this gas station behind me. Um, giant cantilevered structure. Uh, I first saw it as an architect through uh, Architectural Record magazine that I used to get. And uh, ever since I laid my eyes on that, I mean, I think it's been open six years at least, maybe more. Uh, I was like, I gotta go see that someday. But check it out, check out this giant LED uh, Coke bottle that <laughs> changes colors. That's pretty stinking sweet, right? Anyway, let's go inside it and check it out. One of the main architectural design features of this place is that both walls, north and south, are aligned with all the soda selections they have. So, as you can imagine, in the, in the winter, as the sun would hit the south, like these walls just light up with all these different colors because of the sodas. Now, they do say there's a sign that tells you this wants to be a display, don't pick anything off of these shelves. They have stuff in the coolers, but anyway, uh, this is just part of the, part of the gig. One of the other features is this is supposed to function, operate sort of like a soda fountain, soda jerk. Uh, they do have, they do serve burgers and things here as well. 
also check out this patio outside. How is this for a roadside gas station place to just come hang out, chill out, take a load off, get out of the car, stretch the legs? This is awesome. So call me a junkie, but I just love, for whatever reason, growing up, not only did I kind of have an affinity for architecture, but for whatever reason, I just love these, you know, 1960s and before gas stations. So this retro styling of Pops just makes it a must stop when you're on Route 66. So it is day two, woke up this morning in Oklahoma City, felt good to sleep in, but we are continuing on the Great American Road Trip here on Historic Route 66, and we are at a Route 66 Museum in Clinton, Oklahoma, so we just stopped off, stretched the legs a little bit, only about an hour and ten west of Oklahoma City on our way to Amarillo. So let's go inside and check it out. So there are multiple options for Route 66 museums along the way, but I highly recommend stopping in Clinton. We had a great opportunity there, a great experience I should say. Um, but since then, we are now in Amarillo, Texas, but in between there and now, um, we stopped off in Shamrock, Texas. Of course, that's the site where they filmed one of the legs of Jim Connaughton, Ken Block's group. So we are now at the big Texan steakhouse Whew, here in Amarillo, so we're gonna go get ourselves some steaks. Uh, so let's go inside. So there is a gentleman attempting the 72 ounce challenge, and we are in the final minutes. So let's go see what happens. <laughs> So here I am standing in the middle of a wheat field, you might be saying why did you go on vacation if you're from Kansas to go stand in the middle of a wheat field? Well that must mean we're at Cadillac Ranch. There we go. So the old Route 66 roadside attraction, the famed, and it's funny because all the way back there, the entry gate 
you could just smell spray paint. <laughs> so kind of uh, if I could somehow give you guys that that experience as well, I would. But unfortunately, we cannot uh, transfer smells to you guys. But the steak was good at the Big Texan. And this is basically, pun intended, the end of the road for the Great American Road Trip that I'm sharing with you guys. My wife and I going on a vacation from here uh, through New Mexico, other parts of Texas, a little bit of Colorado, and all the way back to Kansas. I don't feel like I need to uh, video document all of that for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the Route 66 portion of my trip. That's gonna do it for this episode. Definitely like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't really care which one you do, as long as you do one. If you want a straight six fan pistons tee like you saw me wearing on day one of this episode, uh, link to my Spreadshirt store below. Uh, when we get back, it will be time to get back to work on Project Low Fairmont. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I don't really care which one you do, as long as you do one. That'll do it for this episode. Until next time, peace out.